we see Niete squat down. He's looking. Short right hand. Magandang araw mga boss at welcome back sa ating channel. Pinoy boxer kinawawa ang isang Argentinian boxer sa unang dipinsa sa kanyang titulo. Matapos mapanalunan ng Pinoy ang pangatlong world title para maging isang 3 division world champion ito. Ay nakakalaban muna nito ang isang Thailander boxer para sa Bicant IBA flyweight title. Na nakuha nito ang panalo by a unanimous decision. Ang nag-iisang ahas ng Pilipinas, Duny Nietes. Bubong Negros Occidental Philippines, may tangkad na 5'3 o mahigit 160 cm. Former world champion sa WBO minimum title at WBO light flyweight title na umabot sa sampung dipinsan ito sa kanyang WBO. Si Nietes ang longest reigning Filipino boxing na naging world champion at nalampasan pa nito ang boxing hall of fame, Gabriel Plas Elorde. Taong 2018, unang dipinsa ni Nietes sa kanyang IBF flyweight title ay nakalaban nito ang isang Argentinian boxer, former two-time world champion sa WBA flyweight title na minsan na rin pinaghaharian nito ang titulong WBA, Juan Carlos Ribico alias Coton, may tangkad na 5'2 o mahigit 161 cm. May boxing record sa panahong ng laban sa Pinoy na 39 wins, 3 losses, a 19 knockout. May edad sa panahong ito na 34 years old. Samantala naman si Duny Nietes ay may boxing record na 40 wins, 1 loss, and 22 knockout. May edad sa panahong ito na 35 years old. Hindi madali ang labang ito kay Nietes mga boss. Dahil may pagkaagresibo itong Argentinian boxer at power puncher na kayang mapabagsak ng isang suntok. Ginanap ang laban ni Nietes at Ribico sa bansang California, USA. Hindi pa nakasagupa ang Argentinian boxer ng isang Pinoy. Kaya sa labang ito ay makakatikim na rin ito ng kamaong Pinoy na may dugong palaban. Alika at ating balikan ang naging laban ng ating kababayan na si Duny Nietes. Laban sa Argentinian boxer na si Ribico. Overcome that. He's okay with that. And with Nietes, he's a veteran. He, he, on a scale from 1 to 10, he's gonna give you a consistent fight. Sa unang round pa lang ay pinakita na ni Nietes kung bakit ito tinatawag na ahas. Naghihintay lang ito sa tamang pagkakataon para maituklaw nito ang kamandag ng kanyang kamaong. We begin with Nietes landing his jab and delivering one right hand across the top, fighting at a measured pace. Nietes, so far, he has blocked every... Pakunting suntok at nagkasukatan pa ang dalawang boxer. At makikita mo ang pagkaagresibo ni Ribico. Bawat bitaw ng mga suntok ni Ribeco ay may sukli naman si Nietes. You can see that Ribeco is trying to get to the body with wide ringing shots. And right hand of the body as Nietes misses with the right upstairs. That's a really good combination to the body that Ribeco landed, especially the right hand. And got some effective advice and help from Freddie Roach, but not from the Filipino adjunct to that uh, wildcard team, uh, Marvin Simodio fighter when he turned pro, an Olympian, an offensive fighter, a crowd pleaser, a good personality. But just enough to slip. He looks at what he wants to punch, but he won't take this. He slipped and picked the punch with his left glove. He landed a jab right when... These are the kinds of moves that don't necessarily catch the eye of that many people in the arena. But the opponent, when he watches Nietes do that... Oh, and Nietes is like a really seasoned quarterback in the pocket. Look at that. Well chosen. Natapos ang round 2 na wala pang nakatama ng malinis na solidong suntok ang dalawang buksingero. ...calling Rebecca and landed punches. Donnie Nietes is ring nickname. Best books, I think, teach by showing you a master versus every different level of opponent from beginner to expert. And the most interesting games are the master against the expert because you see the sub... Maganda ang pinakitang galawan ni Nietes sa laban. Hindi ito basta-basta bumibitaw ng suntok kung hindi kailangan. Parang ahas na naghihintay ng tamang tempo. In and out ang ulo nito na sinisilip kung may butas sa dipinsa ng kalaban. He's a master. He's a master. And you only get that through experience. Sometimes bad experiences and sometimes good experiences in Filipino champion in boxing history, that's for a reason. One loss in his career, and it took place in September of 2004. Chances are you're going to have an off night. Absolutely. Chances are against another world-class opponent. Over an extended period of time, that's the guy that gets me excited. 
Pero ang Argentinian boxer ay patuloy pa rin ito sa kanyang ginagawang pag-pressure kay Nietes para sumabay rin ito sa suntukan. Max Kellerman compared. He dictates what's happening. He frustrates his opponent by doing what the opponent out of punches and he's aggressive. But you see Nietes, who's the consummate professional, he's the veteran. His nickname is Snake. He's almost like a snake charmer. Wait, he'll throw just a little bit more each round until he gets the shots that he wants to get. And you'll look up and he'll either score a knockout. Fighters with an offensive bent. That's what they're used to. More risk taking. Exactly. Sa round 5 na nga ay naging agresibo na rin si Nietes. Bumibitaw na ito ng mga kombinasyon at mga solidong sunto. I don't know, I see two guys throwing punches. You tell me when there's a significant break in the action. Look, here comes Riveco. His hands are moving. Nietes' hands are moving. They're just also both playing defense. Right now I'm focusing on the accuracy of Nietes. Sneaks in a left hook. If you watch Nietes, even when he's under attack, He stays calm the whole time, and for the young fighters watching at home, that's something to look at. It's not always the flashy defensive move. Matisse and Marcus Maidana, and acknowledge that uh, they are the kinds of fighters that Argentine fans love to watch, and that he, in effect, loves to watch. We asked him if there's any chance that the long-dreamed-about fight between Maidana and Matisse is to just for, to lose their discipline, to just start winging shots. But inside and starts to open up. Nietes is waiting to counter. Viveco's in a real tough spot right now in this fight. Nietes is hard to hit even when you're in close, in close quarters. He's still hard to land against. But that's what I mean. That's where Viveco on paper wants to be. But Nietes is comfortable inside. Stop at the bell, guys. Stop at the bell. three. We're at the Forum in Los Angeles. Looking at a couple of 112-pound fighters, the guy in the purple trunks, Dani Nietes, is a champion in the division. Oh, hard left hook by Nietes. Follows it up with a two-punch combination. One of the subtle differences you can see in these two fighters, the, the master versus the expert, you know, Nietes... Has... See that. And he'll stick a jab out. Naunti-unti na rin pinapatamaan ni Nietes ang mga panga nito sa mga ginagawang uppercut. Hindi man malinis sa pagkatama pero iniinda na ang sakit. And he's been doing that all night. But Rebecca is doing the right thing right now. He's going to have to sell out a little bit. Be willing to get, to get hit. To get his. Because if he stays back and allows Nietes to snake charm him, he's going to be on the end of Nietes' punches all night long. Right, and that's where at a certain early way, you're right. Rebecca, what he's doing, it's not working. It will be time to go to plan B. Which he's been doing this round. And he's had some more success. That Rebecca left hook is one of the best punches he's landed in the fight. But he had to eat five or six good punches just to get in position to throw. Segundo na lang ang natitira sa round ay nakatama pa si Nietes ng isang sulidong sundok sa pagmuka ni Rebecca. At halatang hilong-hilo ito. Juan Carlos Rebecca really is. As one of the greatest of all boxing publicists, Mike Tyson said, In boxing, you got to bring it to get it. That isn't exactly what he said, but that's the point. <laughs> One of James Tony's favorites. See Nietzsche squat down. He's looking. Short right hand. Missed the left hook, but that right hand had Rebecco out on his feet. He's out right now. That, that's why he's running like that to try to get his leg. But watch the veteran. He's going to start to pick it up, and you'll see him as aggressive as he's been all night. And he landed a lead right hand flush. Sa round 7 na nga ay dito na naging dominante ang laban ni Nietes. Dito na nga nakatikim si Rebeko ng isang knockdown. But now Nietes has a sitting duck in front of him. Yeah, and I think this is highly questionable for the California Commission. Yeah! As Rebeko has been allowed to come back in. Nakatayo man ito pero kitang kita naman sa kanyang katawan na hindi na nito kaya. At ang corner niya naman ay nagwakayway na ng puting towel. Dahilan para itigil na ng referee ang laban. Bang. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Everybody, and now it's 
somebody in the corner is waving a white flag and Kagun pa yun na ni Nietes sa unang pagkakataon ng kanyang titulong hinahawakan Panalo si Nietes by a knockout sa round 7 Makikita mo sa laban na maraming binibitaw na suntok si Rebeko Pero hindi naman ito tumatama Kumpara kay Nietes ay may timing at tumatama ito Hindi man mga solido pero ramdam pa rin ni Rebeko ang half day nito So yun muna ang ating video sa ngayon mga boss. Maraming salamat po. Shout out po.